Jonathan Bond saved 11 shots in net, on net for LA Galaxy, which generated precious little offense in a scoreless draw at Sporting Kansas City on Saturday night. Hi, I'm James of Faithful Angelino Sports with a rapid recap of tonight's MLS match. And if you enjoy talking Galaxy soccer, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We talk Galaxy soccer, both good times and bad. And this was bad. The Galaxy are lucky to get a point. Pure and simple. Sporting Kansas City generated 30 shots to LA's eight, and it was even more grotesque than those numbers could possibly indicate. The best way to describe this match, if you've seen the movie The Matrix, Keanu Reeves doing his reverse yoga kind of kind of mess. Imagine that scene going for 90 full minutes. That's how many bullets the Galaxy dodged tonight. But we're going to get to more on that in a moment. LA is currently 0, 1, and 1. And it's also fair to ask at this moment if this team is any good. Because frankly, they gener the offense that they did not generate tonight was profound. I'm going to show you an example in a moment. On the plus side, Jalen Neal at center back started it for the first time in an MLS match and frankly acquitted himself very well in front of Bond. Sporting Kansas City is 0-1-2. One of the saving graces for, Gal for the Galaxy. Sporting Kansas City has not scored in three MLS matches this year. I would imagine that they are every bit as frustrated in their own locker room right now as L.A., but at least they could generate shots. Sporting, by the way, is a tough place to play for L.A., not that that's any excuse. They have only lost two matches in the last 15 to L.A. Galaxy. So, I'll buy, uh, so basically, how can we describe this match? Well, Peter Vermees is the longest tenured manager in MLS, okay? He's been there since 2009. That makes this his 15th year. That means that Sporting Kansas City knows exactly, all the players know exactly what Vermees wants his players to do. It's a 4-3-3. They've always played it the same way, no matter who is on the roster. And they do get plenty of opportunities in that 4-3-3. Because they have played that for so long, and because that means that they know what they're doing, that means that Sporting Kansas City is an extremely decisive soccer team. L.A. was not. They were slow. They were confused. They played almost the entire match in their own end. The way you stop a team that is decisive is to be disruptive. That means you have to intercept passes. You have to get in the passing lanes. And when you have the ball, you have to be decisive. So that at, because Sporting Kansas City, knowing what they want to do, they're going to swarm you unless you are decisive. But the Galaxy did none of that. Efren Alvarez played like he basically covered his boots in molasses. I mean, there was so much possession in, uh, for, in the Galaxy side of the pitch that both Dejan Jovalik and Ricky Puj, Ricky Puj from FC Barcelona for Pete's sakes. Both of them were persona non grata. LA was outshot in the first half alone, 17 to one. And by the way, I want to congratulate Memo Rodriguez for generating the only shot for the LA Galaxy in the first half. And by the way, also for tying for the team lead in shots with two. Slow clap. Well done for the Galaxy offense. Well done. They conceded corners at the first half, more corners in the first half, 6 nothing. They were losing the battle for the ball. They, they lost duels for the ball in the first half, 26-9. They lost in tackles, 10-3. Now, granted, it started to even out in the second half if the second half was looked at on its own. But not really. Sporting Kansas City outshot L.A. 12-7 in the second half. Just a terrible performance by L.A. And I promise I wanted to give you one visual aid to describe just how bad the Galaxy looked. This is the shot chart. That is how much the Galaxy had up top. Look at all those bullets being fired at Jonathan Bond at the bottom of the screen. The LA Galaxy have no idea what they're doing to generate offense. None. 
And this isn't the only time that that happened. That also happened in, in uh, FC Dallas last week. So we are three weeks into the MLS season. And what do the Galaxy have to show for it? Well, they have a rain out in the Rose Bowl that thankfully wasn't played for them. They got their asses kicked in Dallas, and they damn sure should have lost here in Kansas City tonight. Now they come home to face a Klein out protest, a protest in front of a stadium that is probably only going to be two thirds full instead of jam packed. And what is that protest about? They want the club president out because of performances like we just saw tonight. Performances like we just saw tonight. And, oh, by the way, a cheating scandal. But LA Galaxy is too stubborn, and frankly, their players on the pitch have no idea what they're doing so far this year. It is fair to question if this is going to get better. It will. They're not going to go the entire season winless. But how much better? They are in competition now for another wooden spoon under the Chris Klein tenure. So once again, with the final score was no score between the Galaxy and Sporting Kansas City. If you enjoyed this little recap, don't forget to subscribe to Faithful Angelinos. Again, we're talking Galaxy soccer, both good times and bad. Thank you for watching. I'm James. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Faithful Angelinos is a Kian Cortel Queso production. Take care.